Diego Corrales blocks that punch well. Ooh, Ali delivers a skillful haymaker to his opponent. There's the jab. We've only got 10 seconds left in this round. Time to head back to their corners. Get the swelling on that right side. Look at that eye. In there and counter off. Great, great hard shot from Corrales. Lures him off guard and lands a solid shot. Ali comes close but can't seem to land with that big blow. He's throwing and missing. Corrales with a good feint that leads to a hard shot. Ali's flashed the level. That punch ends up off target. Ali's targeting his opponent's left eye, which is almost completely swollen shut. Diego Corrales believes in his power, but he's going to have to connect if he wants his opponent to feel it. There are just 10 seconds left to go in this round. We've come to the end of the round. If he can keep that kind of aggression and action on that damn swelling. They're Move there. He's showing some of his great punching instincts. Corrales sets him up and connects with a nice, clean shot. Diego Corrales able to get him to open up and connects with a nice follow-up. Straight body blow. Corrales suckers him in, lands big. The beating his left eyes received has nearly swollen it completely shut. Ali's attacked with a power punch. Faints and connects big. Here we go with round three. His corner needs to do a better job patching him up between rounds. Jab combination, Lance flush for Ali. Body shot able to do damage there. And again he's caught on the ropes. Ali's going to work with two solid shots. Solid combination for Ali. I'm not sure, but he just may be out on his feet. He doesn't look like he knows where he is right now, and he's fighting on pure boxing instinct. When your adversary can move like this guy, you have to try to cut the ring off. Get him on the ropes, unleash to the body. He's looking like a strong wind may be able to tip him over right now. You can see that he's struggling to stay upright. One more big punch, and he can... Uh. 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 Razors sent crashing down to the canvas thanks to a rapid and powerful combination. were questioning his punching power, and I'd say the answer's been given loud and clear. One is underway. 
Now, Ali has faced a lot of powerful big punches. Oh, and there you go. Now look at him. He does not look good on the back end of that hook coming home. Keep busy, guys. Come on now. Keep busy. A stinging counter punch after some fine defense by Tyson. Trying to score up top, but off the mark there. Good block by Tyson. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Ali. Muhammad Ali is getting away with a headbutt here. That's just like a little love shove right there. Just a little love shove to give yourself some room. Parries that punch intended for the head. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Muhammad Ali. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Mike Tyson. Good defensive skill. think is most misunderstood about the heavyweight division? I think it's human nature for people to see these big goliaths that they start to think that hey they're more sure of themselves that these guys have more of an abundance of security about themselves about confidence and really it's the opposite in some ways these big giants they're really unsure of themselves because they know they can do damage they're also worried about damage being done to them Nothing there on the punch by Tyson. Tyson's punch stats are really telling a story here right now. I noticed that they've been dropping ever since he got stunned earlier in this fight. Yeah, you know, anybody could keep their punch numbers up when everything is normal. But when you've been stunned, and it's not just stunned, I think physically he's overcoming, but he's been intimidated a little bit. Now is the real testing of the fighter. He's got to put that aside and perform the way he came here to perform. with a left hand. Teddy, in terms of pure strategy, facing Mike Tyson, what can you take advantage of? Well, he needs to be set to punch, so obviously you don't want to stand right in front of him. You want to give him angles. You want to give him some lateral movement. Keep him off balance, keep his feet moving. If his feet are moving, his hands usually are not coming at you. Nice block by Tyson. Carries the punch, comes back with the hook. And there's the bell. He is saved by the bell. Oh, boy, Teddy, he's in a world of hurt now. Only 60 seconds in front of him. And you know what? Less than 60 seconds. It took him five seconds to get him on that stool. So right now, they can't concentrate just on telling him things. And he needs to be told why he got hit. But they got to get ice on him. And they got it right now. They have to revive him. Protecting his head well with his guard. He 
took a shot, but he gives one of his own. A left hand scores. Keeps his hands up defensively, protecting the head. but he's not a well-rounded pro because a better level of fighter would be committing to the body more here, wouldn't he, Teddy? Yeah, well, first of all, he would recognize that that's where he's supposed to be going now that his opponent, you know, is taking off a little bit with those fast shoes. No better way to take those shoes off his feet than to go downstairs. fourth round. Ali's last round, Teddy, could be a turning point kind of round. I mean, we start this round right here, and you do have the sense, even though I think he's down on the scorecard, you do have the sense that he's headed in the right direction. Well, good things can start, you know, one step at a time. Oh, he took that first step. Now he's got to take the second step and put two good rounds in a row together. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. A little give and take, and here comes the left hand. Takes one, but gives one. Good work by Muhammad Ali. How important are these mental gymnastics that Muhammad Ali twists and turns, like his pre-fight antics with Sonny Liston in terms of him getting the results that he wants? Well, I think he looks for two things. It's a double-edged sword. One is that, you know, he can kind of invade the psyche of his opponent, weaken him a little bit. But it's also for himself. It's to build himself up, to give himself something to aspire to, something to make sure that he lives up to. Puts himself on a spot, a spot that now he has to be sure that he handles. Gets rid of that effort. And now they're trading blows. Good combination punching out of him here. Yeah, exactly. It's kind of like a musical, except right now, I don't think his opponent likes the tone of it. Right hand over the top. He counters back after denying his opponent's shot. You're making As another round gets underway, it gets us thinking, how much more of this will we see? Hard to envision this fight going the distance with how lopsided it's been. Oh, and he returns fire with a left hand. They trade shots. He comes back with a right hand. A headshot block. What was the thing when you developed Mike Tyson, Teddy, that he grasped instantly? Well, what he understood right away was that his power not only could get rid of guys, but could intimidate guys. And the thought of his power could intimidate guys. Where he could use that. Where he could make guys a little fractured before he ever touched them. No 
Nothing there on the punch by Ali. Ali getting beat at his own game on the outside. Yeah, you never would have expected that with the speed of Ali. He lives. He usually rules on the outside, but here's a case where timing is beating speed. Just misses with that headshot. He got hit right there, but he also gave one. Solid effort by Mike Tyson. One of those fights were at the halfway point. I wouldn't even venture a guess as to what the scorecard should look like. And I don't know that it even matters. All I know is this. Both guys have brought their A game. Both guys have come here to fight tonight. What you know is that it's become a real war of wills. Two stubborn guys, and they're going to continue to argue right to the end. Wow! Mike Tyson stunned, and he is hurt. Muhammad Ali is mounting a comeback on, here, Teddy. Thinks we're going against him. Now him. the tide is turned. Good things come to those who wait or those who persevere. He persevered. Good things are happening. Well placed counter punch by Tyson. <laughs> Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. Frustrating his opponent with great defense. Took a shot, now he gives a left. Job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Mike Tyson. Parries that punch intended for the head. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it back and forth, toe to toe, punch for punch. Well off the mark by Tyson. I don't know, Teddy. It just feels like one of those nights, one of those fights where somebody's getting hurt, where this is not going to the judges' scorecards. I feel like I'm in Coney Island watching one of those hot dog eating contests where somebody's going to try to eat 50 of them. 60 of them. In other words, he's not worried how he's going to feel at the end of the night. Locks away that headshot. by Mike Tyson. <laughs> Muhammad Ali is showing that he's got some defense of his own. He got away from that punch. <laughs> Staying away from those headshots with his defense up top. <laughs> Not precise at all by Ali. in with a good solid uppercut after taking a shot. Tried to land that upstairs and was off the mark. What a great job. He gave one right back in return. Nice work by Mike Tyson. Nice block by Tyson. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Mike Tyson.
Muhammad Ali's got to be in control of things after that round. This is a good fight, very good fight. I give his opponent credit, but I do believe he's ahead on the scorecards. Yeah, but you want to keep that carrot out in front of him. Keep him running after something, you know? The worst thing is all of a sudden he thinks he's got the carrot, and he's sitting there, he's chomping away at it, and guess what? The tortoise goes right past him. Or in this case, his opponent gets his hand risen. Just missed that shot up top. Teddy, so much work in the gym goes into head movement and how to hit a moving target. Doesn't matter in this fight tonight. No, this guy doesn't move his head. The old times would say he gets insulted if you miss him. Tyson with a block punch. Mike Tyson's showing a little bit of a defensive shell, but Teddy, I'm seeing punches still getting through and splitting that guard. Yeah, well, that's the problem, Joe, when you put those earmuffs on, but you don't move your head. Some of them are going to get through, and just as importantly, you handcuff yourself, so your opponent is going to stay in there a little bit longer, knowing that nothing's coming back right away. Shot blocked. Not able to connect with the uppercut. Muhammad Ali is doing an extraordinary job of never giving his opponent the chance to get back in this fight. Just like we saw in that last round there. He's way up on your score. Yeah, I have. Oh, Mike Tyson stunned and he is hurt. Tyson takes that blow and now looks to clinch. He wants to clear his. Oh, that's got to hurt. Mike Tyson's down. He is knocked down. to get up to his feet after that knockdown. But, Teddy, it's what's ahead that's the problem. Yeah, we're getting a peek right now into his heart, into his soul. Good block there by Tyson. Accuracy an issue there. Didn't land that straight right hand. Use the ring, use the ring. Able to block that away. It was targeted for his head. Right in the line of the target. A right hand. up after being knocked down be interesting to see how he responds here you know we've always been able to see how he responds in a physical way in an athletic way great i mean he has everything now we're going to see if he has the real package the full package what is in the heart what is in the soul what is in the mind of muhammad ali what a good counter punch by tyson comes to an end. We saw the knockdown there in that round. A little bit of a momentum game. Yeah, obviously it gives you confidence, but you know what? It can also be a momentum killer, believe it or not. I also, Joe, I've had guys where the worst thing that happened to him in the fight was when they fought the There it is! Ali stunned and he is hurt. I don't know what
what was said to him in the corner, but now he's the busier man. Yeah, he's aware on, that he has to be. Good clean shot, returning fire. Well done by Muhammad Ali. Tyson's got to deal with a cut sheet. Oh, that's good stuff. Fire it right back with one of his own. Good work by Mike Tyson. Good block by Tyson. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> Start dialing. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. find out by sending it up Ladies to the ring and announcer. We will the judges scorecards. All three judges score the fight. A unanimous decision. Your winner, the greatest of all time, Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is your winner by a unanimous decision. And that was a surprise right there. Coming into this fight, we thought we'd see maybe a knockout. But no, we wound up.